Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Electrical Forensics. And we're here to see how many Faraday cages we need in order to block the signal from the latest generation of cell phones. So this is the latest generation of cell phone that I've just purchased. And we're going to put it in a Faraday cage. We're going to try and call it and we're going to keep on increasing the number of Faraday cages that the phone is in until we can block the signal. So we're going to start off with this Faraday cage down here. And in all of the Faraday cages, there is a spacer that keeps the phone away from the sides. So our phone is now in. Let's try and call it. So you can see that we could actually call the phone. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put this one in here like a Russian doll. And let's put the lid on. And we're going to try and call it. So here goes. So as you can see, we got the answering machine. So we blocked the signal at two Faraday cages. So there was no need for the third Faraday cage. And that's what I'm finding with this Faraday cage research, that to completely block a cell phone signal typically requires two to three Faraday cages. And had we been able to reach that phone, our next step would have been to put this one in here and to try and call it. And it would have been highly unlikely that we would have been able to reach that phone through three Faraday cages. So typically three Faraday cages is what you need to block a cell phone signal. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the best of health. And if you want more information, you'll find it in Electrical Forensics. Thank you.